All right, let's get another check of your 11 Alive weather impact forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Holcomb. We are tracking some storms that could be moving our way. Yeah, we're watching some back in Alabama. We already had one round of showers and storms that came through earlier. Those were stronger, mainly north of I-20, where we had numerous severe thunderstorm warnings that were in effect earlier. It's a little calmer now. We're still dealing with a few lingering showers over from Athens, stretching over towards South Carolina. Those continue to move on over to the east. Some pockets of moderate to heavy rain there, still with some thunder and lightning. Then we also look up in the north West Georgia. We're seeing a few showers now. These in the southern parts of Murray County coming out of Gordon County. A few other showers in parts of Catoosa County moving into Dade and Walker. And then when you cross the line over into Alabama, you see some severe thunderstorm warnings there. That's just the beginning of that line that stretches back into western Alabama that will eventually be moving our way tonight. Right now in Atlanta, we're dry. Things looking good. We've got a mix of sunshine and clouds out there. But there's that system stretching up from Tennessee through Alabama. Look at all the light Look at all of the yellow polygons here along that line. This is where we have numerous severe thunderstorm warnings that are in effect. All of that's going to be pushing into our direction. You see, here's Rome here. So this is still has a ways to go. In fact, this part isn't even to Birmingham yet. So this is still going to take a few hours before it makes it, <coughs> excuse me, into uh, our part of West Georgia over near Carrollton. Northwest Georgia will see it first. But you see these severe thunderstorm watches that are in effect and numerous severe thunderstorm warnings in it. That's going to keep moving our way. We we are thinking though by the time this gets here, it is going to be weaker than it is back into Alabama. Live view at the airport right now, things looking okay. We're still dealing with some 30 minute departure delays due to some of the showers and storms we had earlier and also nearby storms around. Here's a look in Athens. We're looking over, I showed you there on radar, some of that rain in the distance from Athens and you can see some of those rain shafts and some of those drops coming down. There's a very large level three of five risk from Texas all the way up north into parts of Kentucky. That level three risk does extend barely into northwest Georgia. I really think northwest Georgia will be the area tonight with a better chance for stronger storms. It does go to a level two north of Atlanta, then a level one on the south side. What that means is as this system moves in, we're going to see some showers. We're going to see some thunder showers with it, and there's a risk that a couple of those could turn strong. And then tomorrow we have a level one of five risk, meaning a few of those showers a couple of those isolated ones could have some strong storms in association with them. So here's the forecast track. I'll walk you through this hour by hour. That stuff to the east moves out. Then here comes that line. This is at 8 o'clock into northwest Georgia, stretching back, uh, uh, knocking the door there uh, into the Carroll County area. That keeps moving over to the east by 10 o'clock. Still heaviest stuff north of I-20, but it is showing signs of kind of closing up a little bit and weakening. So again, not as strong as what they're dealing with in Alabama, but pockets have heavy rain, thunder and lightning, maybe some small hail and some gusty winds with it. And as we get to the after midnight, most of that is out of here and we start off tomorrow morning dry, but then here's another round of rain coming in late morning to around lunchtime that sweeps through. Shouldn't be too strong. And then another line coming in later tomorrow afternoon into the evening. Once that finally gets out of here later, on, <coughs> excuse me, on Saturday night, we will see much better weather for Sunday. Great weather Monday and Tuesday, and then those rain chances returning Wednesday, Thursday and Friday about 30%. Temperatures generally holding in the 70s throughout the period.